I hate to say it, but the Warriors have had some terrible luck recently, Caleb. Yeah, dude. Uh, Clay Thompson went down with that injury. I felt so bad whenever I saw it because Clay is one of my favorite players in the league. When the Warriors had that dynasty run and everybody hated the Warriors, I wasn't a big fan of the Warriors, but Clay was like the one guy I was like, okay, he's cool. I, I like him a lot. But, man. I, that happened right before the draft started. It was like 10 minutes before the draft, and it was like, oh, yeah, by the way, Clay Thompson has went down with a nasty injury. And everyone's like, yes. what? Yeah, I was absolutely shocked. I saw my phone, and I was like, I, the last thing I expected to see on draft day yeah. was that Clay Thompson, a guy who hasn't played in the league in, what, a year and a half. Yeah. We all were excited to see what he was going to do when he came back. We see him suffer an apparent – lower leg injury and as news starts to drop we find out it's the Achilles and it's the Achilles on the other leg man that's the same thing DeMarcus had the Achilles and the ACL I don't see Clay recovering from this it's devastating because I love Clay Thompson I was able to watch uh, Clay drop 37 and a quarter I was at that game and not gonna lie I had uh, definitely had some suicidal thoughts that night, but it was easily the craziest thing I was ever able to witness. That was the most wild thing, just being able to see someone score an amount. Of, uh, most players' career highs aren't even 37. This dude got it in a quarter. Jalen Brown wishes he could do something like that. Who? That'll never happen. Jalen Brown, but that'll never happen. Um. We got some Celtics hatred tonight over here stirring up. I don't know if you guys can feel the tension, but but I'm getting a little, you know. I got so, my guard up. Whatever. So, they, you know, Warriors took James Wiseman, right? And we, we alluded to earlier how these guys have three weeks, really, to get ready for the league. And that's not even to mention that. Did James you say Wiseman, James Wiseman or did you say Hassan Whiteside? I said James Wiseman. But James oh. Wiseman. He hasn't played in over a year. He hasn't played competitive basketball in over a year. The fact he went second is kind of crazy to me. And I know, well, they needed a big, but I don't think he's the best big in the class. I, I thought the best big in the class was Okongwu. And that came out about a mysterious foot injury, which ended up just being a toe injury, which, okay, so what? Suck it up. I mean, geez. But I just don't – I don't think that that's a great pick. But admittedly – I'm not that high on James Wiseman. I know other people really are, but I'm just – for me, I'm like, eh, I'm, I'm cool on that. Yeah, we talked about it last episode with Richard. I'm not really high on Wiseman. You guys know I think he's Hassan Whiteside Jr. Taking him at two tells me either Bob Myers knows something, whether that's he's a really good talent and he thinks he's the best player in the draft, or it just tells me that for someone that's a GM for one of the best teams in the league, he hasn't drafted a player in the top 10 since 2012. So that's been eight years. Keep in mind, you can be one of the top GMs in the league, but if you're not drafting top prospects in over eight years, I'm a little bit nervous about what you're going to do and how that player is going to pan out. So I think I'll give Bob Myers the trust. I think Wiseman will fit there. However, taking a big man, I mean, with the clay injury, I was intrigued to see, okay, is this going to change up with who the Warriors take? Are they going to take a guard? Are they going to take LaMelo? And I remember you were saying that the Warriors should take LaMelo. Caleb was pissed off today that the Warriors didn't take LaMelo. I don't know why, but he can explain. Listen, Steph, Steph's really good off the ball, right? And LaMelo is like a wizard with the ball in his hands, Okay. I needed to see that duo on the court, and I thought with Clay out for a year, I, I needed to see LaMelo Ball playing next to Steph. I wanted to see it. I, I wanted to see it almost as bad as I wanted to breathe, but not that bad. But I really thought that'd be a good fit. But, I mean, LaMelo slips to three and lands in Michael Jordan's domain, lands in Charlotte. And, truthfully, I'm excited to see LaMelo have his own team. I'm really excited for it. Yeah, I think LaMelo in Charlotte is definitely interesting from the standpoint that they haven't had a star player there since Caleb's own Kemba Walker. If you even want to call him a star, that guy fucking sucks. <laughs> Yo, this is a PG show. Please have some respect. There's if, you even want to, 
you even want to call the guy a star, that guy flipping sucks. Okay, there you go. That's better. 